Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kami, um, an extension for Google Chrome. Um, you're going to use Kami to create an assignment in your Google Classroom. And on this assignment, students will be able to write and interact with it using Kami. Um, and we'll also, it'll also, Kami will also create um, a copy of the assignment for each of your students. Um, and you'll be able to see uh, all the work, each one of the work, all the work they do individually, um, which is really cool. Um, what you're going to need is a PDF of whatever assignment you want to give the students. Okay, so if you have that ready, I'm ready to show you. So, okay, so here's your desktop. First, just open your Chrome browser. I'm not sure if it works on anything but Chrome because it's a Chrome extension. Um, so I use Chrome. Uh, you're just going to go to Google and type in Chrome Store or Chrome Web Store. And that'll get you to um, click on the top choice. And uh, you're going to just do a search for Kami. And this will help you find the extension. Okay, and it's right at the top, Kami. And you just want to add it to Chrome. Okay, that was fast. So um, Kami now shows right up here with all of your other um, extensions. Okay, to start Kami, you just click on the little round circle with a K in it. Okay, and it gives you four choices of how you can create your first Kami document. Um, you can open it from your Google Drive, um, if that's where you store things, from your computer. That's what I usually use. I'm going to skip this one. Um, uh, yeah, I, don't, you, I haven't used that much. Um, or you can create a blank document, and that could be like a really simple assignment where you just use Kami to write a question or something like that. But I'm using a PDF, and it's on my, um, on my laptop, so I'm going to click the second choice. Okay, and um, then you find whatever location your PDF file is in. Um, I'm going to use this one here called Math Practice. I'm just going to click on it twice. And uh, this is just a warning saying I've used this one before. Um, so I don't, I'm just going to say, you're not going to get that. Okay, and there it is. It opened up in Kami. Very nice. And now I can write on it or put any... Um, I could type on it to put directions or anything I want to add to it, but I just want to keep it the same. And uh, this is a two-page document. I think it could be as big as you want. I haven't found the limit yet. Okay. Um, so now the next step is, is to create the assignment. You go to the menu here on the right, and you find the big G. It says Create Assignment. Okay, and this is automatically going to create it for your classroom. It even says below if you can read it, um, right? I can't point to it. It says create assignments as classroom, and that's why it's a G for Google. So I push here, and I need to make a few selections. You have to choose these or it's, it's going to get stuck. Um, you have to choose, you know, make sure that you're in, your, um, in the correct Google account. I am, and then it will give you a choice of the classrooms you can choose. And I don't want it to be the staff one. I want this assignment to go to the first grade class. Even though it says all students, you need to select. You can select which students um, you want to give this to, or you can select all students. Okay, and this is 53 students. The third one, just keep it published. Give it a title. I'm just going to put... Um, um, math practice and give some instructions. Doesn't matter. It's not real. And um, you can give it a point. Oh, here's the big thing. Here, this is choice is already made for you. You don't need to make it, but it says make a copy for each student recommended. And this allows each student to do it individually and turn it into you. Other choices are um, they all share a copy. I guess that would be if you're having them work collaboratively. So that's another choice. And the other choice, students cannot edit file. Um, I don't think you're going to want to use that much. OK, so I'm going to keep it on uh, make a copy for each student. And you can give it a pointing system. 100 is a lot for first grade, so I'm just going to use 
10 and uh, you can give it a topic I'm not sure how this helps at this point but um, it's math so I'm gonna put math and um, I'm going to assign I guess you could uh, send yeah there's another choice here but I'm just gonna push assign so you can see Okay, and I paused it for a bit because um, their server is having a little problem. Okay, and it says assignment created. You can send your students the following link with instructions for getting started with Kami. Okay, um, so you could do that and it'll help them. Um, this will give them instructions on how to put Kami because they need to have Kami on their computer too. Um, so that's an option if you want to teach them uh, with that. Uh, there's also a, um, I also made a student version of, of this video um, to show them how to do it. So you might want to send that to them too. And if you want to find that, it's on my, um, I'll, I'll put a link to that. So you'll be able to get that too. Um, so your students can uh, do it. So two choices on how you want to teach them um, how to get Cami on their Chromebook. Okay, now I'm going to open in the classroom to show you what it looks like. Okay. I got this because I wasn't in the right account, so you got to make sure you're in the right account. Okay, I'm going to go into my first grade classroom. Okay, and here you see it right here. It says, Gene Feinberg posted a new assignment via Kami um, math practice. And um, if I click here, I can see the document and I guess I can make changes to it if I choose maybe if I made a mistake on it or something and I think the students will see that I'm, I'm not sure but I know if I click here I get to see the students work so this is the cool part okay and here every student all 53 that are assigned have um, they have their assignments here and here you can see if they've done it, you could sort it by um, by first name, last name, or by status. I like doing it by status so I could see uh, who it's still assigned to. And it'll put students who completed it um, at the top, but no one's completed it yet, zero or turned in. Okay, and then you can look at them and uh, you can give a grade right here. Great. And, um, you might also want to see what the students are seeing. So I'm going to go into a student account here. Click on first grade. And here's what a student would see. Um, there's no picture or anything, but it does say teach the students this icon means that it's a document they can work on. And it says it's done via Cam. This is math practice, the one I just put on. I click here. And then the students get this up here. Um, and see this his assignment says Enrique Martinez it automatically puts his name on it click here and um, for him to start working on it he just pushes open with Cami if he already has Cami otherwise like I said watch my other video or have the students watch my video about students using Cami okay and he could start uh, drawing on it If they're having troubles writing on it, it's a little tricky, but I have a video also um, <clears throat> about how to use the touchpad to, to write. And I think older grade students will be able to do it better probably than younger ones. The best would be if they had a, um, a writing tablet. Okay, and they can also put, they want to put their tens, you know, draw a picture, they can do that. If they want to change colors, they can do that. Okay, and then when they're done, the important thing is that they push turn in here. Okay, so I'm going to push turn in, and they get a thing here that says turn in, 
and it'll automatically save it to their Google Drive too. So it also helps create a uh, portfolio. They'll have a portfolio of um, all their work on their Google Drive once they've done a lot of um, CAMI assignments. And just here, you just have to authorize their, um, their account. Okay, and that should do it. This is turning in, loading, and it's done. And if they ever make a mistake, they can unsubmit it and make changes. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, you can email me or um, uh, ask me on the uh, on comments in our Google Classroom, and I'll try to answer them. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you.